So uh, moving moving into our first topic, um, so United States strike in Iraq kills uh, Qasim Soleimani. I don't I don't know how to say the name. Uh, commander of Iranian forces, and um, immediately after that happened, literally everyone thought we were going into World War Three. Um, I think it's Soleimani. Panic, yeah, I think it's Soleimani too. I was watching you, TV that night. <laughs> and if you're um, feeling funny, CBS, you can call him Salami. NBC, CBS, NBC, ABC, all the networks, channels, and their affiliated channels quit the programming and they did a breaking news story. And they literally made it sound like we were going to war. And uh... everyone freaked out. Like, no, every channel. I, like, even like, I believe, so ABC is owned by Disney. So, like, the Disney channels and all that, they all went black and it was a breaking news story. I'm like, really? Like, how? Because I was flicking through the channels I mean, I, and it was it's all. Big, it's really big news. Yeah, it is. That's like, yeah. I mean, it could lead us to war with Iran. But then everyone's saying the draft, right? Isaac. Oh, I don't. We I don't talk, think we'll. I don't think we'll need a draft. I still haven't registered yet, by the way. But uh, oh. Are you dodging the draft gauge. No, Isaac's mom actually uh, reminded me of it the other day. Remember Isaac? Yeah. And you were like, <laughs> I ain't doing oh, that. Oh shit, I forgot about that. I didn't I never said that. I'll I'll serve I my country. I'm pretty if I sure have I heard to. you saying you're uh, you're dodging it. US I government fine gauge. Either. US government fine gauge two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, please. I gotta do that though. Brody, are you registered in the draft? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you not I register holy cow gate? <laughs> Both of you? You gotta, you you gotta sign it? up to throw your life away. I don't know. There was like a Either website. Online or at the town office. There was like a website. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been to the town office with that. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. It's a, <laughs> Brody, it's a really big fine if you don't sign up for the draft. Like, if you're caught <laughs> dodging the draft. <laughs> I don't know. If they catch you for not, like, for avoiding... We're not avoiding because right. we were ignorant. If you're to dodging it. it, if you're intentionally dodging the draft, it's like and a I'm huge not n- fine. none of us. For the record, none of us are dodging anything. We're just like we're young kid. We're young people. I just turned eighteen in August, and my my first thing wasn't to go sign up for all that stuff. I'm just you weren't I'll excited to sign up for the draft. Like, oh, I'm eighteen. I can go to prison, and I have to sign up for military. However, if not- if there was a <laughs> a thing where they did call draft, I would be totally willing to to serve the country if that was necessary obviously right at this moment i i right at this moment in my current condition i know i won't be on the front lines so uh <laughs> yeah you'll be like give me a computer i can do i can do the media thing yeah <laughs> i'll post on your instagram um <laughs> head of head of the navy social media page as emergency draft <laughs> but, i can see that yeah but they definitely wouldn't have me on the front lines. I know that. They'd be like, "Fatty, um, shoot, shoot them <laughs> terrorists." <laughs> but um, no, I hope nothing comes out of this. But the thing that sucks is that the the people that are talking about it are very uneducated. And they don't realize that this literally. I mean, Trump got elected to, you know, uh, end terrorists. Um. You know, he killed the head of ISIS. And then a week later, his son, who became the new leader. Um, and now we have this Iraq um, strike. Whether or not it was intentional or not, I'm not 100% sure, as there's been very vague information that has come out. All that I've seen, though, on the internet is Democrats calling for his impeachment because this isn't presidential. Even though... He was protecting. There's some huge. There's mixed opinions that go all around. Yeah, but I heard Ben Shapiro was very against this, but then he changed his mind once more information came out. Well, so I mean, here's he the very thing: much it, it, this. our government, it, no one in our government is going to decide to airstrike someone unless they think think it's you know an imminent serious threat. It's not like you go throw around airstrikes everywhere, and you don't do that. They're expensive. And he's risking war with another government. No one's going to just do that. Yeah. So the reason must have been pretty solid. 
Uh, Trump's not a stupid guy. As much as the media likes to pose it as that way, he, he's he's a he, he's not going to risk war unless it's but a also, big deal. We have the best intelligence in the world, our government. So yeah, they must have had some information. Uh, yeah, I know, <laughs> including <laughs> us. They're listening to yeah, this right even, now. Even podcast. the citizens. <laughs> hmm. I mean, probably we're pro. This is the the record before the post is probably getting stored in some server somewhere in the U.S. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, but, that's um, just the way it is. I'm sure we've said enough trigger words to warrant that. We won't. We're not going to go to war though, unless something drastically changes in the next week or two. This is just going to tie I down. Mean, I feel like they weren't getting anywhere with impeachment. It would be. It would be a mistake for Iran to go to war with the United States because we have we one of the best, if not dollars. the best, military in the world. We would crush yeah, we their tiny two, little country. We spent $2 trillion replenishing our military since he got elected. So, right. realistically, theoretically speaking, we could blow them to smithereens. Not saying we are. You know, I don't agree with that. I, I don't, I'm not uh, for war in any way. It's expensive and is stupid. I feel like my philosophy is the less conflict, the better. Right. But yeah, for sure. It, it, it's it, us it's as just a nation. A we need thing. to be able to. We need to be able to stand our ground too, because we can't allow smaller countries like North Korea pushing us over. Like, regardless if you liked Obama or not, he was a pushover, and that's my opinion. You know. I'm not speaking for the other two members of the Mumbles podcast, but well, I don't, that's I, my... I would. I think Barack Obama did make some good decisions when he was in office. He was definitely a pushover for sure. He, he but that's kind of what the president is for. He's a pretty face for the government. You know, they don't really do that but much. Trump's, Trump's not like that, and that's why everyone hates him because well, sure, he's, he's getting stuff blunt. done. You know. He's Regardless not of you liking it or not, he's getting things done. He's not worried about spending five years working on one piece of legislature. He wants to get, you know, a uh, hundred thousand new pieces of legislature done every year. You know what I mean? He wants to make sure that America is pro- is uh, being prosperous and uh, and that the citizens are are being taken care of and. That he has our best interest, which he does. I like the coverage. <coughs> the, the you, coverage you, look, of, uh, you look on any any news station and the stories are live. You know, you got posts from 30 minutes ago. You got posts from two hours ago. <laughs> it's like they're keeping, they're doing this live thing. <laughs> where it's just like they, they have an article, but it's like the article spans like two pages long because they keep doing like live updates on it i mean I it, that was, was pretty it, cool. it is a really big deal so it makes sense that they're doing it this guy he was like the lead general of the iranian government and we yeah. blew him up yeah with yeah. a drone and a huge missile just all of a sudden out of nowhere so i mean it's a pretty shocking big event Oh, so yeah, totally. it makes sense that the Iranians are freaking out. It makes sense that the news here is freaking out. It's a really big event. Do I think the Iranians, if they have a lick of sense in them, would go to war with us? Of course not. Is it possible? Sure. But it... unless we but kept doing stuff like this, I, they wouldn't. It, he He was supposedly, I guess... A, a a supporter of you know terroristic actions against Americans, and we can't risk American lives. We can't risk yep. the lives of our soldiers. That stuff is serious. And if we if it's felt that he is a big threat against our military and our people, he has to go. That's how I see it. You it's know, it's a good way to look at it. 